So my name is Ashley and I'm a kitty cat. Um, this is my first video, so welcome to my channel. If you like this, I would love if you subscribe and like and maybe comment on some more things that I can do. But I saw all of these beauty bloggers going and doing their thing and I love it and I'm an avid watcher so I just figured, you know, what the heck, I will throw myself out there so I can try and do it too. So today, what I'm going to go through is just a basic informational video on types of foundations. Now there are a million different types of foundations and you can feel like you're drowning in them. All the different types and names and creams and everything. So I'm just going to go through real quick and do a quick explanation of each one. So the first foundation that we're going to talk about today is liquid foundation. Now liquid foundation is great because you can find it in pretty much every brand in every store anywhere because it is one of the most popular foundation types. Now it tends to give you medium to heavier coverage which is also good because you know we girls trying to achieve that flawless face look um, and liquid foundation is perfect for that. It's also usually for normal to dry skin unless you get a liquid foundation that is not oil based. A decent amount of foundations are oil based though and if you're already oily, you already have oily skin, putting more oil on top of it is not going to help you achieve that beautiful, perfect, flawless finish. But there are many versions of it. Like you could get a water based liquid foundation um, or a waterproof liquid foundation. So this one comes in all sorts of types and varieties. The second type I'm going to talk about today is tinted moisturizer. Now these are nice because they're kind of an all-in-one of sorts. Tinted moisturizers usually are exactly what they sound like, a moisturizer with a tint of color to it. A lot lighter coverage than you would work with example a liquid. But you're also going to get bonus the moisturizer and a lot of them come with a built-in SPF as well, which is just all over roundness for your skin. And it, it helps for people with generally clear skin to clear up unevenness and to kind of lose the redness so you can once again achieve that flawless face look. Next we're going to talk about BB creams. Now BB creams are not to be confused with a tinted moisturizer or a CC cream, but when you look at the way they apply to your skin, it's a very similar feel, but there's a few differences. BB creams give you a little higher coverage than you would in a normal tinted moisturizer, usually a light to medium coverage, but they also can come with several skincare benefits as well. Just like a tinted moisturizer, they can come with SPF, but they can also come with special minerals that are good for your skin. It's kind of like that in-between between a tinted moisturizer and a foundation. Now a CC cream is different, supposedly, even though it does look like it applies the same. CC creams stand for color correcting creams. Now these are specifically formulated to dress redness or kind of that sallow yellowness in the skin. They also give you a light to medium coverage and they can have a range of skincare benefits as well. Next, we have our oil based foundations. Now, these can be liquid, usually, or cream foundation. They usually give you about medium coverage. These are more recommended for dry skin because, once again, you don't want to put oily foundation on top of oily skin, it's going to be really hard to get that really nice matte finished effect. Oil based are great though for older women with drier skin because they're really good for reducing your fine lines and your wrinkles. They don't settle in. They give your face a bit of a glowy, full appearance when you put it on. Next we have a sheer foundation. Now sheer foundation generally gives you a light coverage. It's usually for normal to dry skin, but most people can use it. Many of them contain an SPF, but it's good if you want to kind of get away from the heavier liquid foundation. And this gives you a very pore filling, smooth, no makeup effect, even though you are wearing a light makeup. 
Okay, next we're gonna go over matte foundations. Now matte foundations are usually marketed as oil-free, which is great for all us oily skin people. I am a matte foundation user. It helps us stay smooth and keep that flawless foundation on for as long as possible. These can give you a medium to heavy coverage, just like the liquid foundation, except it's not gonna make you look as oily, which is great. Next we have mousse or whipped foundations. Now these are interesting. They're, they're just like a liquid foundation except they're whipped so there's air inside of them and they're very, very light. They feel weightless when you put them on. A lot of them have a matte finish to them. So good again for us oily skin people. These can go from normal to dry to oily skin, anything in between. They generally give you about a medium to heavy coverage, just like a normal foundation, stick foundation. Now these are heavy coverage. These are great for covering up blemishes. They're usually too heavy for people with fine line and wrinkles because the product is so heavy it will settle in and kind of accentuate those fine lines and that is not what we want to do to achieve that flawless finish. Okay, next we have powder foundations. Powder foundations are interesting. You'll probably be able to find them in pretty much every brand and pretty much every store, just like a liquid foundation. They have a lower coverage than a liquid foundation, though. They usually go light to medium depending on the brand and depending on what you're going for. These are great for oily skin because you are putting powder on the oil. So it soaks up the oil, helps you stay matte for a very long time. It can settle into wrinkles. The next one is mineral foundation, which is really nice because it is all natural, just made from minerals. If you have sensitive skin or you're very allergic to stuff, I would recommend mineral foundation as a top go-to thing. Now these give you about light to medium coverage as well, but they're great for fine line and wrinkles. So all of you older women with your skin gone a little south we still know you want to look fabulous so go for a mineral foundation it will help boost up your skin maybe on top of a light whipped mousse foundation or something to help you out next kind of foundation we have is waterproof foundation now these are good for when you live in places that have a lot of high humidity I usually don't use a waterproof foundation but when I do I use it because I get so hot that I sweat off all of my makeup. And the best thing to do about that is to use a waterproof foundation. Now these are great for when you're sweating or when it's humid and there's a lot of water in the air, but they can tend to clog your pores pretty easily. Lastly, we have foundation primer. Now this isn't technically a foundation, but I figured I would mention it just because it's kind of the perfect step before you put on your foundation. Now primer is specifically meant to fill in wrinkles and pores and fine lines or anything like that to give you a smoother finish overall. So when you lay down your foundation, it is amazing and super smooth and super flawless and just what you want. It also helps your foundation stay on. All right guys, so that was it. Just a basic informational video because I couldn't find one. That just kind of gave you a basic idea of what each foundation was. So I'm going to start a series. It's going to be called Back to Basics. And it's going to be going over all of your basic skincare for, for everyone who kind of is maybe just getting started, a beauty newbie, as I like to call them. If you like this, please give me a like or a thumbs up. Give me a comment. And I will see you next time. Bye.